How's it going guys? It's Matt and I am back with another video tutorial for you guys and this time it's how to make an XML file. Um, the XML file is the file that makes the kits or the logos or the faces work in the uh, in, in Football Manager. Um, the main things that you will need to do is untick the cache into decrease page times Tick reload skin when confirming and do the show IDs. Now, the show IDs is quite important um, as, as uh, without knowing the IDs, you won't be able to make the XML file. So, for example, the team that I'm using was a team that I made. It's a fantasy team called Westbrook Phoenix. I did have badges and kits, but I don't anymore. Um, and the, you'll find the unique ID here. So, for example, if I go on to, uh, let's say, Arsenal's unique ID, when my laptop loads, um, if you've made kits for Arsenal, if you make kits for United, you need either Arsenal or United's unique ID, because if you put in a different club's ID, it will show up on the other club, and it will look a bit stupid. Um, so once it loads up just for just to note I'm not actually going to put any kits in the game um, as my skin takes way too long to reload so I'll show you guys how to do it and then I'll leave it down to you if you do have any problems please message me and I'll try and sort them out um, also, a couple more things that you, you guys need to know for if you're making kits or anything else. If you're making the logos, which are these small things here, they need to be 25 by 25 pixels. If you're making a logo this size, it needs to be 180 by 180. And if you're making kits, it can be 200 by 200. That's the size that I've always used, although there is a mod that makes it 220 by 220. Um, also, they must be a PNG file for them to work. So if you've got a JPEG or a GIF file, GIF or whatever they're called, they won't work because you need that to have them as a PNG. The easiest way to do that is to go on Photoshop, go down to Save File As, and it should automatically save as a PNG. Now, to make the XML file, oh sorry, before that, as you can see, the Arsenal's ID is 602. So if I write that down, 602. Go on to this website, FM Scout, how to make config files. And it shows you how to, it show, it's got the link there of where to download the config file. Now when you open it, the config file will look like this, except without these. These two bits I've added in myself. Except from on the website, it says picture and ID. So, for the ID, you would simply put 602. Where's it gone? You would simply put 602. Take away where it says ID. 602. There you go. So, that's the two IDs then. Now for the name. I always make kits using, say, Arsenal underscore one for home Arsenal underscore two for away now for third there is the third option which is here so for that third kit what you would do is you would do the same except you put underscore three now I use underscore threes as far as I'm aware spaces work capital letters don't work so do not put any capital letters onto your XML now if you're using a Mac you can just close it if you're using Windows save as close but it's got to be an XML but if you're downloading it off this website it should be fine the link is here for the download configs can take a while for to work and to get the hang of as long as you have got the show IDs in title bar uh, to, to assist skinning, that's all you really need. Um, all the IDs are going to be up here, unless you're using the 
reserve team, which you don't really need to do. The IDs will change. Or should change. Now, from my memory, if you have made a club, it will be a long number. Now, if it's the first club you've made, it's usually 206 200 See, as there, it's 206 200 26 16. Now, for the made clubs that you would make, it would be 206 200 2128 for the away for, for these ones. Mine on the Westbrook Phoenix will probably be 29. Let's have a look. Oh no, wait, that, that's completely changed. That, it, I might be using a database that has different kits. But, you know, that, that sums it up. That's all I'm going to add, guys. If you get any more problems, please let me know. If you need any more help, again, please let me know. I'm here to help you guys. If you want any kits, send me requests. If you want to, as well, subscribe to me on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter, which is at LawsonJMO. I'll put it in the, in the link box. Cheers, guys.